How beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ! You were worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And Friends, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Rose Philippine, Philippine Duquesne. Born in Grenoble, France, Rose entered the Sisters of the Visitation at 18, but the French Revolution cut short her novitiate. Eleven years passed before she was able to join the Society of the Sacred Heart at Amiens. At the age of 49, she made the arduous journey to St. Charles, Missouri, where the first house of the order was an unheated hut. Schools for girls were established despite the dearth of funds. Rose's missionary labors on the frontier were capped with a decade of infirmity and almost continual prayer. A contemporary said, she was the St. Francis of Assisi of the society. Everything in and about her was stamped with the seal of a crucified life. United in faith with this holy woman of faith, we turn now to our Father in heaven as we acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who fill the heart of St. Rose Philippine Duquesne with charity and missionary zeal, and gave her the desire to make you known among all peoples, grant us to follow her way and fill us with that same love and zeal to extend your kindness and your kingdom to the ends of the earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in, the, in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones and on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man, and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night, they did, do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne 
and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Holy, 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 Lord, mighty God. Holy, 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 Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, 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 Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Holy, 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 Lord, mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord, mighty God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins, and told them, Engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent the delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called, to whom he had given the money, to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in a very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In an article in the paper, in the Believe It or Not section, it features ordinarily interesting and incredible facts. One, for example, showed an iron bar worth five dollars. 
The feature went on to say that the same iron bar could be made into horseshoes worth $50, or into needles worth $5,000, or into watch springs worth $500,000. I think this fun fact, it recalls today's gospel story, and it invites us to ask, what am I doing with my God-given talents? Despite Jesus' complete trust in us, we often rebel and sometimes show outright disdain for the talents that we've been given. We either don't think we have any or that the ones we have aren't enough. Our fallen tendency is to want to do away with it or not, and not to depend on God or anyone else. Yet this attitude will always lead us to disappointment, to frustration, and to loneliness. For Jesus tells us that apart from him, we can do nothing. Friends, when we engage in our work at home, in the office, in ministry, are we aware that God has indeed given us talents which are meant to contribute to the building up of his kingdom here on earth? What are you making of your God-given talents? As we gather around the throne of God, we humbly lay our petitions before him. We pray that the church around the world may continue to grow and prosper under the protection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have been abused by the hands of the clergy or the church in any way, that the Lord may bless them and grant them strength and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that all who govern may be led by the Holy Spirit in strength, courage, and right judgment. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that the Lord in his mercy may help all who are in financial need, especially those who have lost employment because of the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that all of us gathered here and those watching virtually may grow in spiritual richness through the grace of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that all who have died may return to the one who gave them life and worship God on the throne forever and ever. And today we remember Lucy F. Colucci. Let us pray to the Lord. And friends, we offer any intention which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. God, you are worthy of all glory and honor and power. Look favorably on us who gather in worship today and answer the prayers we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Rose, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, Amen. you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat>
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the Blessed Rose, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And have a blessed day, everyone.